Council of Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, Dr. Rotimi Oladiri, FNIPR. Next to him is a special guest of honor of today's event. He is Engineer Ibrahim Abdul Salam. He is the MD of NAMA. So what is Next to be introduced is the Managing Director of SACO and is ably represented by the General Manager Engineering and Maintenance, Alaji Olu Owolabi. <laughs> Next to him is the Registrar of Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, Dr. Stephen Ajibayo. Next to him is the Commandant of Nigerian Army School of Public Relations and Information, Colonel John Agim. Uh, well, I'll come to this way again and move around again. On my, spirit, on my side here is the Chairman of Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, Lagos State Chapter. Pastor Farista Joseph Okoma. <laughs> Next to him is the Chief of Staff to the President of NIPR, Mr. Willie Ogbidi. <laughs> yes, sir. Next to Colonel Agil is Engineer Muiwa Adegorite. 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 I'm sorry, sir. He's the General Manager Procurement of NAMA. Next to him, he is a special assistant to the MD of NAMA on operations, Mr. M. L. Kwajok. Yeah. Well, we will be doing more introduction, but Well, let me continue. We have a team here from Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, and I will be introducing them one after the other before we hand over to SACO to do their introductions as well, too. Uh, even though I have introduced the president and the registrar, as well as the chairman of the Lagos State Chapter, I have the singular honor to introduce Dr. Sunday O. Ajayi. Welcome, sir. Please join me as I introduce the license officer to the pres to the Senate President, Haji Arabi Muhammad. Next to her to be introduced is one of our fellows in the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations. She is Dave Nancy Ogenekar. <laughs> Facing me directly is the former Vice Chairman of Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, Lagos State Chapter, Mr. Kule Ogenekar. We have in our base again Major Prince Ntoyimon. 
and Mr. Sergeant Asukwa Ikuo. Well, I think that is done now for Nigerian history of populations. As time goes on, we have more we will do. Okay, sorry sir, I have to introduce the presidential staff day to the president. We have with us here Dr. Mrs. Grace Akuan Achumi. <laughs> And I have Prince Abiodun Olatu Bosu. <laughs> Mr. Eric Adele is in SAICT. <laughs> yes, we will be introducing members of uh, SACOR, and I have the singular honor to invite Aluko Kofu Urola to come and do the introduction. Good afternoon, my dear. My name is Aluko Kofu Urola. I'm a member of SACO, President's um, in Nigeria, the chairman, and any other good cops. We see also some of our SACO members. They're on their way as soon as they are here with you, you know. Now, I would like to start with Engineer Dekola, is representing our MP. <laughs> we have our GM operations, Mr. Olumide Odebi. <laughs> then we have Mrs. Kiwe Manikwe. She is the head of credit control support. Also, we have Mr. Oluode, he is the head of uh, our security department support. Also, we have uh, Mr. Bola, I call him Alaji. He is there for our billing support. You are welcome, sir. We are still expecting some of our management down their way. As soon as they are here, we will let you know. Thank you very much. Let them come to Oh, please come to the table if you have been introduced. Mr. Abola, please join me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. To do the introduction of the aviation team, I hand over the microphone to Mr. Shubo Hatoba <laughs> Thank you very much. I just came from that uh, that time today. <laughs> well, uh, we are still expecting some of our colleagues. For me, we have uh, Mr. Tuji Wetunde from the AIB, that's as the Education and Prevention Bureau. Mm -hmm. Next to him. Head of the communications, Ari Pierre, Mr. Bajola. Ready, my hand has been introduced, and all the team. Then, my PR staff from NAMA, all of you, can you stand up for recognition? <laughs> and nothing is good. Well, I see. Are there any of your members? You say? Are there any of your members? Well, I forced them to take your exam. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. They paid money. My MD approved. They paid your examination fee. I think they must have written one or two papers. So, I think you should clap for me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I think we are, we are very, very compliant. So, you know, hats. No, we will do the introduction of today's uh, celebrant. But before we do that, we want to call on Evans to be our guide this very moment. And I have this very singular honor to invite Dickiness Amadu to, to give us an opening prayer. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shall we rise up as we honor our maker? Oh, the glory must be to the Lord, to the Lord. For he is worthy of our, worthy of our praise. No man on earth should be blue. Oh, the glory. 
lift your name higher. Indeed, you are higher than the highest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are the Almighty God. You are the rock of ages. You are the own of our salvation. The Almighty God, the I am that can do all things. That we bless your holy name today in Jesus' name. Amen. Sweet spirit of the living God, we invite you to come and have your way today in Jesus' name. Amen. Come and take control of this gathering today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We soak this vicinity with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. We ask our open heavens of the Lord Most High God to descend upon each and every one of us and bless us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you for your son that we are celebrating with him today. We thank you for his family. Bible tells us that promotion coming up from the Son or from this God, from the Almighty God. It has pleased the Most High God to promote you. It is so much never and backward, never in the name of Jesus Christ. This testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Mighty and everlasting Father, as men that have come to rejoice with your son today, with his family, Father, let our joy be full in Jesus' name. Let our joy overflow in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Now we invite you to come and have your way. Come and take preeminence in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, we pray that you bless us in return in Jesus' name. We show ourselves in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We command that every manifestation of death that is not of God around this vicinity, they shall be silenced permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, we thank you. Now we bless your holy name. At the end of today's gathering, let your name alone be glorified forever. Let the blessing be ours in Jesus' name. Thank you, our Father. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. And so we open this gathering in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Thank you, our blessed Redeemer. Glory be to your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, I said we'll be introducing today's uh, celebrant. I seated here now and we'll be doing that introduction specially. And how do we do this introduction? It's for me to invite Mrs. Chinwe Madikwe to please come in, do the introduction, and read his citation. A higher national diploma oh, yes. HND in mass communication from the Federal Polytechnic OCO, a master's in communications, uh, communication studies, MCS, from the Lagos State University, and a certificate in credit, um, creative design and digital communication from the School of Media and Communication of the Pan-Atlantic University, Lagos. His career started at the Aoshi Polytechnic, where, as a student, he doubled as the editor-in-chief of the Think Right magazine and the Aoshi Polytechnic's official newspaper, Aoshi Express. During his national youth service with the Kanji Lake National Park, New Busa, Niger State, in 1997, he authored a book, Bobo, Past, Present, and Future, which chronicled to the potentials of the Bobo tribe in Niger State, Nigeria. In 1999, Mr. Basil Abarumi was mandated by the Nigerian National Parks Headquarters. Abuja to compile a book on the attributes and potentials of the national parks in Nigeria. In 2000, Basil joined the Skyper Aviation Handling Company Limited, 
then a subsidiary of the Nigerian Airways Limited, as the pioneer staff stroke head of the Public Affairs Unit. After the privatization and subsequent takeover of SACO, the Skyper Aviation Handling Company Limited by the CFAS Group in 2009. Mr. Basil Abaribi was appointed the head of corporate communications with the mandate, with a mandate to spearhead the rebranding of the new company, Skyway Aviation Handling Company Limited. He is a member of the Nigeria Institute of Public Relations, MNIPR, an associate member of the Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria, APA, an alumnus of the School of Media and Communications of the Pan-Atlantic University, as well as a member of the Course 13 of the School of Media and Communications Strategies for Op Optimizing Corporate Communication Skills, SOCCS. He has attended trainings, seminars, and conferences in Nigeria and abroad, Africa, Europe, and Asia. Mr. Basil Abarumi, who is married with children, is also an ordained assistant pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG. Basi is result-oriented, a good team player, motivator with excellent people skill, who has a successful track record in leadership, public relations, and communications. He is presently the GM Corporate Communications of Skyway Aviation Handling Company Limited, SACO a member of CIFAS Group. Thank you. Thank you very much. Today, we are celebrating hard work. Today, we are celebrating dedication to duties. And I know that this is not the end of it. We will go higher and higher in Jesus' name. Well, as we introducing some of our members here. We want to recognize a few of us again before the special guest of honor gives us his uh, keynote address. Please permit me to recognize Pastor and Mrs. Tony Ajisafe. Pastor Babasune Kenji. Pastor Ugulewe. Pastor Olorun Toba Rotimi is ably represented by Dickiness Amadou. With all humility, sir, want to hand over the microphone to the Managing Director of NAMA for his keynote address. Chairman, Governing Council, Nigeria Institute of Public Relations, Dr. Ruti Miyolagere, the representative of MD SACO, Engineer Larry Adekwala, the Chairman, Lagos State Chapter, Nigeria Institute of Public Relations, Barrister Joseph Okoma, the Registrar, Nigeria Institute of Public Relations, Dr. Adebayo. The Commandant, Nigerian Army School of Public Relations and Information, Colonel Aki. The, our own Chairman of the Aviation Family Public Relations, Mr. Chris Aligwe. The German staff here present, and 
Mr. Pasit, the celebrant, with his better half and his uh, four battalions. <laughs> you are all welcome to this occasion. I am greatly honored to deliver this keynote address as I welcome you all to this August occasion organized to honor one of your own, Mr. Basil Agwarobi, member of the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, who was recently elevated to the position of General Manager Corporate Communications, Skyway Aviation Handling Company Limited. His promotion is well deserved and a testimony to the fact that hard work diligence, integrity, and dedication to duty pays at the end of the day. And um, attaining the position of a general manager in any organization is no small feat. Because uh, from that position, you can be anything in that company. And to get there, is, you must have done a lot. So please give me a round of applause. The Nigerian Institute of Public Relations has been known over the years for professionalism, excellence, and transparency. Through various trainings, workshops, and seminars, the organization has molded icons whose contributions to the Nigerian economy has been legendary. Today, the celebrants stand tall as a valuable product of this reputable institute. Public relations is an integral aspect of the world economy, as no business can survive without it. I therefore enjoin all members of the NIPR to imbibe and assimilate the letters and spirit of this noble profession. Granted that the sustenance of the Nigerian project largely depends on you. Here in Nama, we uphold the high standards in air traffic management and our vision to be one of the leading air navigation service providers in the world. I would like to use this opportunity to assure the traveling public of the safety of our airspace, all our communication, navigation, surveillance, and air traffic management facilities are working at optimal level. And to further make it safer, we just completed and commissioned solar powered uh, airfield lighting at Lagos and Abuja which makes it possible to land at the local wing of the Nigerian, uh, at the local MM2 airport here at any time of the day, in any weather. <laughs> Once again, I will use this opportunity to congratulate the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, as well as the celebrant on this honor, and I welcome you all to Nigerian Airspace Management Agency. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Please, sir, we want to give uh, MD another round of applause, please. There yeah, are more people I want to recognize here, sir. One of us here is Mr. Tolu Onagi. He's the head at Aid Services, SACO. Mr. Chris Alegre, fellow of NIPR and former CFO of the Nigerian Airways. I have another person here. Mr. Chuku Mere Charles is a special executive to the MD of Megavon. And the MD of Megavon happens to be the president of the Nigerian Institute of Public Thank you very much. I will now hand over the microphone to my president, the chairman, Governing Council of Nigerian Institute of Relations, to give us speech. To Almighty God be the glory. Amen. Um, here we sir, special guest of honor for this August um, occasion, and also my landlord for the current moment, even though the rent is yet to be determined. <laughs> but I was quite impressed with the promptness with which he accepted the request to give us this speech. 
when my team came to me and said, where are we using? And I said, the owners are supposed to be at the door step of those who are unknowing. It's not that we cannot afford charity or uh, excellence of care, but they have no bearing to our aviation family. So let's go back to the family and do what we have. And I must say that this is the second time NAMA will be doing this to NIPR. Three years ago, I came to NAMA to meet the former MP and said, look, the aviation sector is of age. As far as population practice in Nigeria is concerned, we need to have an aviation population forum. And it was granted. And I think we enjoyed ourselves for that session. And it increased our membership. We want to get back to the glory of aviation industry in Nigeria. In the era where Opa Ogule and uh, my brother and friend, Mr. Chris Alibris, I'm happy he's there. And uh, used to lead the practice of this profession in Nigeria. And I'm happy to say that the crop of leadership I found in aviation of Nigeria today gives me the greater hope that we are going to lead Africa as a continent again, and we are also going to showcase our superior and efficient uh, practice of aviation world over. We have what it takes, and I'm sure we're on the right terrain. Apart from the announcement we have had from the MV, there are physical indicators we cannot see today uh, nationwide that aviation is waking up. But we need to support that industry. We need also to build it together. It's a brand that can change the fortune of Nigeria, especially in the case of information management. I want to challenge the leadership of aviation today that we should not do the same mistake that the financial sector did for three decades by pegging the promotion of information managers to principal level, principal managers level. That happened in the financial sector for three decades. No funding population went beyond principal manager. Before they increased to AGM and GM, it was too late. And if you look at American success in private sector, it is because information management, ICT and corporate affairs are not relegated. They operate at the board level. Because your planning, your policy, your engineering, procurement, marketing, healthcare, will thrive only on responsiveness, immediacy of action based on accurate information and thoroughbred researchers that you have within the system. This is the essence of ensuring that our aviation of tomorrow should be based on this professionalism. Coming to the uh, uh, stake of today, the subject matter is Basile. This man, I'm sure, in his mind now, will be trying to research how come about that I singled him out and I said to my team, let us celebrate this month. It started about 12 years ago. I usually will come across him in locations or around the airport. So the way he carried himself all through the time I knew him before now, actually exudes humility, not pretended humility. I, I hope people in management will know the difference between uh, pretended humility and genuine uh, humility. That's what I see. Secondly, he's always very ready to learn, very inquisitive, and he's a calculated person. And also, he's always ready to do his best in any task. I engage him gradually. There are three of them. One is there. I don't want to mention it. So you don't know it's, it's a research subject. There are three of them. And I monitor my colleagues' progress. And that's the same thing I do anywhere I work. I'm interested in somebody coming after me. Because I pray is greater than me. Because people brought me up. So this man has been studied by me for 12 good years. I'm telling him today, he doesn't know. My colleague, the secretary then and now chief of staff, will remember that I mentioned this thing to you twice on different occasions when it was at first I am national theater. Then thereafter, in this course, I've noticed that he's never in a hurry. When you put him in charge of this, he does his best. If you thank him, fine, if you don't, 
So when I heard about this promotion, it struck me that this is the time to tell the world what brand is this human being made of. That was the cause of this. And I want to use this as a, uh, a case study for the rest of us. It might not be your management. It might not be your family members. It might not be your church that will celebrate you. But somebody is watching the little you are doing that you think you are not doing anything. One day, the honor will come the way you never imagined it. I want to thank uh, the, your wife, who actually is the engine behind this performance. Uh, this is my 32nd year of working after school. And I can tell you, as a field man for 18 years, a desk man for the rest of the years, what my wife went to for a population person in the aviation industry, I can tell you that this woman has gone through certain things. If we ask her to write a book and we leave her alone here, <laughs> publishers will have something to do next day. <laughs> but we thank God for you and we pray that God will also give the two of you a longer life than you imagine. Better health than you imagine, Amen. prosperity more than you imagine, Amen. and of course, success from all your children than you imagine. Amen. Let me come back to the management of SACOM, because this is an era where the system has taken over the whole world, not just Nigeria. Where meritocracy is no longer recognized, where efficiency is second uh, fiddle in criteria management. But for SACOM to see somebody who is due, and then you say, well, this man is due and is entitled to this, let us give it to him. I want to thank the SB, the Tony Constitution, and the Chair of the of Organization appreciate this. We want on this note to encourage all our colleagues in aviation, anywhere you are serving, we want to see an actual member as models whose managers will be able to say, because they belong to this group, that's why they are doing this. This is the era we must promote integrity, irrespective of what this community around you is doing. If you must lose your job because of integrity, so be it. I, it has happened to me. I lost my job in a multinational due to integrity for two and a half years. But when the re result came in, I got a contract from Denmark while I didn't leave Nigeria for one year, and the one year licensed contract gave me seven years accumulation of salary I was taking I was on the And somebody I never knew, a contractor, recommended me for that. Don't be afraid when it comes to the challenge of integrity, because this is the major war that Nigeria is failing in right now. Right now. As a member of the National Conference, that was why I was, I'm one of those who are proposing and supporting uh, withdraw of immunity. Because if you withdraw immunity from those in, in power and those who have served before, everybody will be answerable to whatever questionable act he, he, he does. That will reduce corruption to the certain level. But for those of us who are professional and practitioners, let us do our bit on our own bit. Let's try to play a good rule on integrity. We are not angels. We are not saying we should be angels. But let us know that modesty is very important. You are a Nigerian first before you become anything. Whether you're a military officer, you're a policeman, you are a pilot, or whatever. You are first of all in Nigeria before you are anything. So nation first. And as we also do this, we will all work together to bring up the reputation of Nigeria. I'm doing a study on what I call the reputation, Nigerian reputation agenda. And every Nigerian must play a role. So this evening, you are a model, you are your wife, we celebrate you, we are proud of you, we appreciate what you do, and I say good luck and more please to your elbow. On this note, I want to declare that the uh, aviation sector of energy remains intact with our coordinator, Mr. Shukor, Ako Bateli. So please, let us have your time for sectoral meetings, let us know the other people that work with you. 
ask us for it, for whatever you need to function. The MD of Circle, MD of Nama, and other MDs, uh, we will face them one after the other. We must build the reputation of aviation in Nigeria. Three years ago, when I called it to my house, I told you that I'm watching what I call Nigeria image in the air. I'm now putting it on your desk. <laughs> Nigeria image in the air must be an excellence to showcase the whole world. And all the CEO of aviation sector agencies and companies must be part of this. So we want to have an annual forum of aviation reputation, and we must achieve it. God bless you. Thank you very much, uh, my president. Uh, without wasting much time, I think I want to call. I want to call on the MD of uh, Sako to give us his remarks. Actually, the MD is not here, and so I'm representing him. My name is Lamia Ekola. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to congratulate the President of the Nigerian Public Institute of Nigerian Public Relations. I also want to thank the MD Nama. I also want to greet all the executive and the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations and to congratulate you that we are celebrating one of your people. Uh, members of SACOL team, aviation personnel, and all visitors, I greet you. Uh, whatever I'm saying here, I'm saying it on behalf of the MD, but I'll have two or three words that is coming from me. Basil cannot be ignored. And uh, I can tell you something that for management to appoint the PR man as a general manager in Sakor was not something that was thought overnight. It's as a result of a long performance. And I also think that Basil has brought pride into the, uh, into the profession of uh, PR. And good things are beginning to happen because I also follow public relations, and I'm aware that recently we had a major general for the first time in public relations, which is also a good thing. And I will also say it's an equivalent of what our brother have achieved, because anybody who wants to get to the top of his career, and that is what Basil has retained. Basil is a very, very hard-working person. And the Bible says something that you see a man that is still dead in his work, he will relate with kings, not with mean people. And that is exactly what he is. He's very gentle, he's very, very upright, he is also very humble. He doesn't lie about anything because I know that. And uh, I stand here to say that the MD is glad that in his time, we are having a general manager in SACO and public relations. And everybody is celebrating it with us. And so, I want to say, Basel, it's the beginning of greater things ahead. Uh, I see you becoming not just a GM, but an executive director of public relations. Someday you will be. And it's going to be a plus for the institute. I wish you well, and I pray that God will guide you. Uh, the, the wife will thank you, because behind any successful man, it is said that there is a woman, and not just a good woman, a big woman, but a very prayerful woman and a strong woman. Yes. We are proud of your husband, and uh, we pray that God will continue to increase him. So that is the good blessing I have from the MD. On my own, I got to know myself 14 years ago, and. Uh, I had two journeys. We were together, I went out and I came back somehow. And I can tell you, he has not changed. Just as he was, when he was relatively a very younger manager. And uh, he's very polished. And uh, he works very hard. He also 
he's, he's never ashamed to ask questions about anything. Because by virtue of what he does for SACO, sometimes he needs to explain some engineering and operation matters to the public. And he has to come to us. And he has and freely, we give him those information. By the time he does, he even does it better than we do. You know, so Basel, we are happy for you.